if I put everything on PowerPoint slides and flash them like this during the class, and I'll cover the book. Will they learn anything? No, they won't learn anything because the human mind is limited in its information processing capacity. The brain can only take in so much information at a time, which means a very, very high percentage of that information that you're pouring out like that is never going to be absorbed by the students. So you're wasting your time, you're wasting their time. If you back off, don't try to present so much information and imagine that you've taught it because you haven't. Focus on what is the most important information that I'm trying to present in this particular lecture. It's not all equally important. There are a lot of things which if the students never saw them, it wouldn't hurt them. It's not going to be on the exam. You know, it's something that we think, well, it would be nice to expose them to it. But just exposure is relatively worthless as far as learning is concerned. And so if you're careful to focus on what is the critical information that I'm trying to present in this class today, and you make sure that you present that information, and let the other stuff go or leave it for a reading or something of that sort. And then the critical information, you give the students an opportunity to do something with it, to try it and then get feedback two minutes later, uh, you're gonna see a huge difference in what the students end up knowing. And you're gonna see a huge difference in those recitations. Instead of just seeing the blank faces and the questions that they're now asking because they never had a chance to do it before, you're going to see students who understand something from those lectures. And now you can really put them to work in the, uh, in the tutorials to try more difficult problems, to have interesting discussions and so forth. It makes a huge difference in the nature of what you're doing uh, as a professional. Yeah, so in our native tongue, we have uh, one saying which uh, goes something like this it's a rough translation uh, you eat less but you eat well <laughs> oh that's good <laughs>